Hey guys, today's video is going to be a lot of first impressions. It's not a full face. I have been gone for, feels like forever. I haven't put on makeup on my face in over a week. If you watch my last vlog, you will know that I moved. So that's what I've been doing and trying to sort my life out. I'm super excited to film this video. Thank you guys so much for stopping and checking me out. And if you wanna get ready with me, then just keep on watching. As you can see, I already did my brows. I used the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencils and I primed and set my lids. I use the Smashbox Lid Primer in light. Yeah, I don't know. I guess my forehead is just my problem area now. It's actually really cleared up. It was breaking out really bad over the last week or so. So the first product I am trying out for the first time, I'm so excited about. I actually found this in stores at Ulta. I was going to purchase this and order it, but when I saw it in person, I was like, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy it. I mean, it's right here in front of my face. This is the ColourPop and Disney Misunderstood Villains Palette, and I am so excited to use this. It's so beautiful. First of all, the packaging is beautiful. I mean, look at that. That is so pretty. I really wanted to try two of the Luxe lipsticks. I think it was the Hades lipstick and the Dr. Facilier lipstick, but at Ulta in stores, you could only buy the bundle, which was like the lip gloss and the highlighter and all that stuff. I didn't want all that. I just wanted those two lipsticks. So I might still order those, but I don't know. I don't even know what I want to do because they're all so beautiful. I want to step out of my comfort zone maybe. This color right here, that is calling me. There's not that many mattes, but they are really pretty. Like, look at this blue. That's so pretty. I'm going to go in straight with Tragic as the transition shade. I mean, that's what everyone's going to do and you know it. I hope you guys like my new background. It's very, very simple. I have this stuff to set up for backdrops as well, but for me, I didn't have like really nice backdrops that I wanted. It, I like had some that came in a kit. I wasn't ready to put the money into getting the ones that I wanted. So I always just did the environmental backgrounds. Now that I have this um, office space, I have these lights and I feel like it's kind of like the best of both worlds. It's not a backdrop, but it's not seeing my dresser in the background. Which I mean, for what it was, it worked for sure, but wasn't my fave. It's like nine o'clock at night. So unfortunately, this makeup look is not gonna see anybody. I just ate a cheeseburger and a half. Listen, I am a dirty slut for cheeseburgers, okay? I'm gonna go in with the Fates, which is this beautiful blue. I'm gonna put that below that first shade in the crease. You would think that I would have done this as long as I've been gone, but my makeup brushes are filthy. That is so pigmented. Wow, that is really pretty. I'm doing more of a light wash. Like that's just how I do my eyeshadows um, and I'll build them up. I'm in love with that. When ColourPop announced the first time that they were gonna do a collab with Disney, I was interested in it because I love a fun collab. I'm not like a diehard Disney person. I obviously watched like all the Disney movies growing up as a kid, but I'm not one of those people that wants to, you know, get married at Disney World or anything like that. But I was interested in the concept of ColourPop and Disney. And when they released the Princess Collection, I was pretty disappointed. It was a pretty basic palette, if you ask me. Honestly, that's what people are using um, the most are basic palettes. And it made sense with the Disney Disney princesses, but this palette definitely caught my attention way more. Disney villains is something that draws me in more. I think I want to take this shade facility. I think that's how you say that. And I'm going to take that on my finger. Oh, wow. And I'm going to pack that on my lid. I would definitely say ColourPop has my favorite shadow formula. I love the layout of their palettes. I love the price point, of course. Like they don't have fallout. I don't even know how they do it. It's just not in the cards for me to buy every ColourPop palette that comes out. They release a lot of products and collections and I think that's great for them. I'm not gonna purchase every single palette, but every time I purchase a palette from ColourPop, I'm like, oh yeah, this is why I like ColourPop. I think I'm gonna bring that blue color up just a little bit higher. I'm trying to learn how to do eyeshadow better for my eye shape. I don't have monolid eyes, I just have like almond eyes. I just need to bring my shadows a little bit higher and closer to the brow. And I'm gonna just pop some more of that on and bring it up just a little bit higher. 
video that I did just recently where I did the green cut crease. After watching that video back, I realized like with my eye shape, I have to do something a little bit different with the cut crease. Like I can't just open my eye and then follow where like the concealer hits like a lot of people do. Back into that first shade Tragic and blend out the edges since we did move that up a little bit. I'm gonna take the shade Pain and Panic. Is that what it says? Yep. I'm just gonna pop that like right in the inner part. One palette that ColourPop has recently come out with that I'm not at all interested in is their Spring Palette. The packaging is gorgeous. It's something very out of the box for ColourPop, which I really like. But the thing that people are loving is that it has the Super Shock formula in it, and I'm not interested in that. I've never been a big fan of the Super Shock shadows. It's like super unpopular opinion, but I guess for me, I don't want it to be like, oh, you can't get this shade to work unless you dip your finger in. I don't know. For some reason, that just turns me off to the product. I'm gonna go in with 101. Pop that in the outer corner. I'm not really gonna bring it in the crease. I just wanna deepen up the outer corner. I have missed putting on makeup. It's been over a week and I've been wanting to do it. And now that I'm doing it, I'm like, oh, okay. I do love putting on makeup. I'm forgetting to talk because I'm just so mesmerized. I'm not gonna use a new primer um, because I don't have one. Spray my face with the Wet n Wild Coconut Primer Water. What is all that? Oh no. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. Gonna ignore that and move on. I'm gonna take the Soap and Glory One Hiccup of Blot primer. This is almost a full face of drugstore, which you guys know that I almost do a full face of drugstore every single day. That's just who I am. I'm going to take this Too Faced Hangover RX primer. I haven't used this in a while. Honestly, at this point, I just want to use up this bottle. It's definitely not my favorite anymore. Don't think it's a bad primer or anything, but I've just found more moisturizing primers. Dang, my eyeshadow must have got a little out of hand there. It's so weird going back to this primer after I've been using the um, Smashbox primerizer for so long. It doesn't even feel like a moisturizer anymore to me because I use the Origins Ginseng Moisturizer and to me that's more like water-like. I'm gonna go in with this foundation today. I just bought this but I've tried the formula before but I got a Shade that actually I think will match me. I was using F10 and I got F8. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. Already a better match. This foundation blends out really well with both a sponge and a brush. It's a perfect match. Go me. Unless I get a super tan over the summer, F10 is not my shade. I don't know if it looks like that on camera, but it matches my neck to the point like I don't even have to pull it down on my neck very much. Did get a new concealer. This is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer and I got this shade Light Medium. I really, really hope that this works. I only got one shade. A lot of times I'll get two shades. I'll get one that actually matches my skin tone and then I'll get one that is for highlighting but I just picked up the one for highlighting this time. I got this at Walmart. Walmart honestly is a hidden gem for makeup sometimes. It's got this big old flat applicator. I feel like this is too dark. Okay, this definitely is not the right shade and I'm gonna have to get another one if I like it. So it feels like it's burning. I hope I'm crazy. Okay, I'm just gonna blend that out. I don't know if I feel like I love it. I've heard so many good things about this concealer. Sometimes I have to use concealers a couple times to like love it, love it. I'm just gonna move on. I'm gonna use this Makeup Revolution Fast Base Stick Foundation in the shade F10. I'm gonna use it to bronze. I don't normally do this. It's not gonna be that dark. Oh, okay, but it is. Okay, that looks wrong. Take the butt of it and blend it out. But you know what? It doesn't look that bad. I was kind of thinking it looked like it was almost too cool toned, but maybe not. Mm, I don't know. It still looks a little gray to me. Kind of blending into nothing. I feel like you can see it more on camera than you can in person. New product that I purchased that I'm so excited to try. Wet n Wild Photo Focus Loose Setting Powder and I got the shade Banana. This is huge guys. Like this is so much bigger than any loose powder I have and it's only like five dollars. I'm so excited to try this. I think it looks like it's gonna be a really good color for me so I'm very excited. So I did hear that this concealer is not good for baking. So I'm not gonna bake. I'm just gonna gently press it in. Wow, my under eyes look good. 
I think I really like this powder just like I was hoping I would. I mean, look at my face. It definitely performs just like my other favorite powders. 10 out of 10. I'm definitely going to be using this. Definitely going to repurchase this. This is so good. I'm going to use this Pretty Vulgar Bronze B Sun Kissed Snitch Bronzer. I know bronzer is my favorite part of makeup. It's so crazy because I feel like bronzer, it just wasn't a thing when I was growing up. When I went to the Clinique counter and she sold me in a full face of makeup, she didn't sell me bronzer. And she didn't sell me highlight. That was definitely not a thing. She sold me blush, foundation, mascara, and then like this little eyeshadow duo. It wasn't even a quad. Primer wasn't a thing. She did sell me skincare though. What else did she sell me? Oh, a lip, like a lip gloss that was like pretty opaque that I wore every single day of my life because I thought it was the best lip gloss ever. Like it looks so good on me. It looks terrible on me. I'm gonna go into the next new product. I'm so excited about this. I have had my eye on this forever. As soon as I saw them come out with this, I had my eye on this. But um, I don't know why, but me and ordering online, like I just have a tendency to hold back unless it's like something I'm like, okay, 100% want it, gotta have it. I'm like, well, maybe I can just wait until I see it in person and buy it. And that's what happened with this. This is the Milani Rose Powder Blush Trio. And I got the shade 02 Floral Fantasy. I've heard so many good things about Milani blushes. So when I saw that they had this palette, I was like, that's what I want. I don't want to buy the individual blushes. I want a palette. I just think palettes are more convenient. They're nice to travel with and stuff. It's plastic, but it like also looks high end sort of. I'm going to go in with it. <laughs> Stop talking about it. The middle shade is probably the one that calls my name the most. You know, I was never thought that I was a blush person, but here I am. I own probably more blushes than like a lot of other things. Like I definitely have more blushes than I have highlights. I can't wait to try out the other shades. I don't want to overkill it with the blush. Or do I? I'm going to go into the darker shade too because I want to try them all right now. I want my face to be filled with blush coming from someone who never, I mean, never likes blush. Not that I never liked blush, but I always thought it was just too like girly girl. But now I just think it looks nice. I could live without it though, but this, I highly recommend. I'm gonna pop some highlighter on. I'm gonna take my Milani Trio because I don't have a new highlighter. I always think about getting that Flower Beauty highlighter palette that everyone rants and raves about, but for some reason, whenever I see it, I'm just like, I don't know. I don't wanna spend the money on it. For some reason, it just doesn't call my name the way that it calls everyone else's. I'm gonna pop some of this highlighter on my brow bone too. And yeah, looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face. Don't regret purchasing this, but I don't feel like I'm gonna purchase it again. I don't know if it's really doing anything. I'm gonna go in with Tragic and run that under the lower lash line. Just cover your under eye bags with eyeshadow. It's fine. I am so excited to go to the beach. We're going to Panama City. And I have never been to Panama City before, which around here is unheard of. Everybody goes for like spring break and stuff, except for me. I'm super excited to go. I realize the beach is the beach. Like it's gonna be sand and the ocean, just like anywhere else. But I love going to places that I've never been before. I wanna take the fates and run that under my lower lash line. I need a pencil brush for this, please. You know how people buy those, like they're called like color switch Altoid size can, and it's like a little abrasive thing there. You just wipe your brush to cut switch colors. I do that with a towel and I feel like it works pretty much exactly the same. Oh, I got a little hot and heavy on that side. I'm going to take Forest of Thrones. Okay. Okay. Pain and Panic and Mongrels look really, really glittery, like chunky glitter. This is more of a shimmer sheen situation. I'm gonna take the shade Mongrels and I'm gonna pop that in my inner corner. This is one of those shades that looks like it's more chunky, but I am gonna use it with a brush and see how it does. It doesn't look bad. I'm gonna curl my lashes really quick. I do have a new mascara to try, which is a surprising, I never buy mascara. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I redeemed some points at Sephora to get this guy and I'm glad that I got the mini because I just don't want a full size mascara. It's going to dry out before I use it. So I've heard a lot of people be like, it's nothing special. And I've heard a lot of people love it. But Sephora was like pretty much everyone that works here. This is their favorite mascara right now. And I was like, oh well, let me give it a call. This is what the brush looks like. It's got a lot of tiny bristles. So I got faith in it. It smells different than like regular mascara. A little less potent. 
Unless this mascara contributes to my 401k, I probably won't buy it. I don't really buy high-end mascaras. It's just not who I am. My lashes are just terrible. So it makes little to no difference to me whether or not the mascara costs $5,000 or $2 because my lashes are shit. I'm gonna go ahead and say that I'm not super impressed with the first coat. You guys know I always do two coats, so. I don't want to judge it too quickly. It looks better on this eye. You know, I have this theory. Someone else tell me if you agree. When you first get it like this, first time you pull it out, I don't think enough product come off on the wand. You need to like dip in again because that's making all the difference. Because I was like literally shitting on this mascara because it was like, it's not very black. It's not doing anything for my lashes. And then I go to the other eye after dipping in again and it's totally different over here totally different like it's lifting my lashes let's try a second coat of this now we're cooking that was buildable i don't know if you can see because my lashes are still shitty but it definitely emphasized them more and it looks way better fill this mascara it's pretty good this is the wet and wild mega last liquid catsuit high shine lipstick and this is in the shade cedar later i don't think it's gonna match but I just want to try it. I think I've worn it once, but I didn't try it on camera. I love this formula. It's so good. It's converted me to liking shiny lips versus matte. And don't get me wrong, I still love my matte lip. This has definitely changed the game for me. I think I need to lighten it up a little bit though. Ultra glossy lip. This is the ColourPop Kathleen Lights shade in Moonchild. Pretty opaque, so I think it's going to get the job done. Can I mix those two? Pretty much I liked all the products that I tried today. I kind of knew that I would. I'm purchasing them because I think I'm going to like them. I would never intentionally purchase something that I thought I was going to hate. What would be the point in that? There would be no benefit for me. That palette has me so inspired and I can't say that about every single palette that I own. I mean some of them are just a little like, you know, run of the mill. But this palette definitely did it for me. The blush was great. The concealer, I think I'll have to try it out a little bit more, but it definitely doesn't look bad now that I've got my makeup finished. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I will see you in my next video. Bye! My hair is all in this. You know what I'm saying? Has that been out of focus the whole time? I hope so. My contacts are really dry right now. I have dry eyes. <laughs> it takes me approximately six hours to curl my lashes. Ow. There is a bug.